Hi right, everyone, welcome back to Get Modern. Today we're going to look at configuring co-management with Intune in Config Manager. So let's jump straight in. Firstly we have our Config Manager console open. This is my demo tenant uh, in the Get Modern domain. So um, here we go. We're going to go into administration and take a look at the cloud services and then over to uh, Azure services is the first place to go to and you can see I've got no Azure services there so we're going to click configure Azure services and, and configure a cloud management Azure service and it's in the Azure public cloud not the government cloud we need two web apps we're going to go ahead and create the first one which is the server application we'll give it a name something like um, uh, Config Manager maybe, uh, get modern Config Manager so I know which, which demo tenant I'm using and then we just need to sign in. So I'm going to sign in with my Azure AD Global Admin which is dean at getmodern.co.uk and enter my password and I'll probably get prompted for um, MFA, there we go. Okay, so in we go. So that is pretty much ready to go, I think. So we just click OK. And that's that one done. Next up is the client app. So exactly the same process. Give it an application name and sign in with the Azure AD Global Admin. already pre-filled it for me and I just need to click OK and then OK so next we get to look at uh, user discovery and group discovery let's take a look at users the default seems alright to me it's five minutes Delta uh, and the groups well I haven't got any groups to discover so we'll leave that blank and click next and then next and off it goes and creates those web apps for me Great, so that's probably it, I think. All right, so we've skipped ahead five, 10 minutes for the sync to happen, uh, and I'll show you the results of that. So the idea is that my cloud management uh, Azure service has sync, sync, synced, sync, and uh, we can see it's got the tenant name there and the tenant ID. We've got a couple of web apps there ready to go. And if we go into assets and compliance, and then over into users you can see I've got a load of my demo users in the corporate domain which is the one I'm using now but also I've got my cloud users the ones without a domain set and if I go into Dean Allaby and click on properties you'll see firstly it's the agent name is uh, the user discovery agent for Azure AD so it's clearly a um, it's clearly Azure AD user and at the bottom there you can see the user principal name is Dean at getmodern.onmicrosoft.com it's definitely a cloud only user all right so we've got our users uh, the next thing we need to do is create some device collections for our co-management pilot so over into the device collections node and right click create device collection and we're going to create one called um, co-management uh, what's the first one client applications grab that to copy and paste and we're going to limit it to all desktops and server clients it doesn't matter that there's no members at the moment we haven't put any in there so we'll leave that as it is cool next we're going to go for um, compliance so we'll give it uh, have a collection for all of the compliance um, pilot devices that we're going to be using Overall, we're going to get five or six of these. I'll skip through this. And finally, I've just created one 
called co-management to as a as a catch-all later on we'll do the limiting collection change for all of those uh, so that they're all limited to the co-management collection uh, so as you can see we've got um, a co-management catch-all collection uh, client apps compliance device collections endpoint protection and resource access and in a few minutes when we enable co-management you'll see how this all comes together and why we've created all of those So uh, yeah, straight over to the admin section and then into co-management and we head to right click and choose um, enable co-management and click sign in on the Azure public cloud. I'm already signed in so hopefully that will take me straight through. And what have we got here? So we uh, we want to upload these devices to the um, endpoint manager admin center it's tenant attached technically and we'll do um, enable automatic enrollment for co-management clients cool So it's going to register a client application for us, so that's all good. Let's go ahead and click yes on that. And uh, we're going to upload all devices to, from, um, from Config Manager up into Intune, just to see what happens there. And we've also enabled Endpoint Analytics. Uh, we're going to go ahead and enable all devices into enrollment into Intune, so we get the we get we don't have a pilot device collection for for this yet. We'll click next. And in the workload section, this is where you'll see exactly why we've created all those pilot collections. So you can see all of them match, pretty much all, all of them match. We've got compliance, device collections, endpoint protection, resource access, client apps, uh, and a few more. So we'll select all those. Obviously click to run Windows Update. I've batched all of those together in the next section. But as you can see, we have to create a pilot collection for each of these or select a pilot collection. Now it can be the same one, but just so that you can actually split it out and do testing of individual workloads, it is worth creating a collection for each one. There's not a lot of extra extra effort there, it only took a few minutes. So that's what we've done here. And just wait for that. A few seconds. That's pretty much done. So we'll click next and wait for the summary to load cool next and we're ready to go all right so that's our co-management enabled as you can see that's all done uh, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and look at how that co-management has affected our devices we'll take a look at the Intune portal to see that our config manager managed devices are already there and we'll take a look at how we can manage config manager devices within tune as well in each of those separate workloads that we just looked at so join me in the next episode